FM 94, The Dark. It is that time again. It's time to get to what band we play here on The Dark. And tonight, we're actually going to be talking with Madam Mayhem. She has a latest song out called Monster. You've been hearing her on The Dark for the past couple weeks. And Madam's on the phone right now. And Madam, thanks so much for joining me on The Dark today. Thanks for having me. Hey, let's talk about, uh, first of all, the uh, the makeup of Madam Mayhem. What, what all went into the makeup of Madam Mayhem? And how did you all get this going? Well, Madam Mayhem is me and i've been fortunate enough to you know work with a bunch of people from the rock industry that are pretty killer and uh billy sheehan who wrote this record with me and produced it um you know winery dogs mr big uh he's been a mentor of mine for a very long time and we were trying to think of who would best fit playing on these songs and and we got a great team, Ray Lugier from Korn, KXM, Bumblefoot, uh, Russ Parrish, also known as Satchel from Steel Panther, and Corey Lowry also co-wrote a bunch of stuff with me on this record. So we were able to get some pretty cool stuff together. That is a, a unbelievable lineup of musicians, isn't it? I mean, they're amazing. I'm so I'm so happy they were they were digging the, the music and willing to do it. Yeah, you know, I, obviously to have that kind of support from veterans in the business really must be inspiring for you to help you out, make it out there. Is, is am I right on that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really big deal now uh, to get support from your peers. Let alone like not just even peers. I mean, these guys are are rock royalty to me especially so you know I lo I've looked up to them as artists and musicians for a really long time so it, it's really great support that you know as people too they also have my back so I love that now if I'm not mistaken Monster you actually co-wrote with Corey Lowry am I correct on that yes yes talk talk about writing I guess music and then even writing with somebody like Corey which uh, obviously a phenomenal musician that he is well, it's always so much fun to write with Corey. Uh, we wrote Monster, actually, one of the first times we've ever met in person. Um, I heard his stuff. I loved what he did, so I just went down to a studio, never met him before, and uh, we got, like, three amazing songs that are all on the album, and Monster was one of them. And it happens a bunch of different ways. Every time I write a song, no matter if it's with a co-writer or by myself, you know, either someone has a musical line or idea and we go from there or it's an instrumental riff uh, it's 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 a fun experience because you get to you get to experience a new way of writing each time you do it you know and it's kind of funny because uh you know we've we've talked i've talked to many artists and a lot of people have brought up the name clint lowry which obviously mm -hmm. from seven dust Corey's uh, brother and that and uh he is huge into kind of discovering bands and new artists is Corey kind of in that same boat too i mean he's always very very supportive of me and and i know he knows so many bands that that he loves to you know if, if it's good music i feel like why why wouldn't anyone support it and i think Corey's just a really great you know mentor in that that like you know if you if it's all about the music first and and if if there's a band that's really doing that, then I'm sure, you know, I'm sure he's definitely all about it. He's he's never given me a reason not to be. So I think that's definitely something that he's into doing. And of course, now he's a little busy with uh, Saint Asonia too, yeah. which which actually is probably a good thing because maybe this is a time where uh, he can bring you guys along, huh? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. You you call them up and make <laughs> them do it. I'd be down. You know, I know that they're going out on the road with another band coming up soon, so. Maybe next time. I would love that. And, and they're a great group of guys, too, Saint and Sonia. I got to see them play when they were in Jersey uh, a few weeks back, and uh, they're killing it. Hey, let's talk about uh, Madam Mayhem, the name. I think I found out why you were called Madam Mayhem. It's something to do with uh, your mom and dad calling you that. What, what's, is that? Am I right on that? Yeah, yeah. They, they were calling me that for a while, uh, and it just kind of stuck. Uh, no matter what happens, in my day, in my life, whether I cause it or I don't cause it, mayhem seems to follow. So <laughs> <laughs> Madam Mayhem just became my name. So is there one specific incident that happened that said, oh, we're going to call her Madam Mayhem? Or, or, oh, are no, we... it's, it's, it's a daily occurrence. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just pick one. <laughs> just can't pick one, huh? Nope. Okay, we're going to talk about the new album here, which is coming out on October 16th, and that is called Now You Know. Talk about this album a little bit and the makeup of it. Definitely, and I just want to let you know I just found out, so you guys are getting... 
you're going to be the first to know that on, on Amazon, the pre-order link is now up and live. So awesome. You can uh, pre-order it ahead of time, which is great. Um, I'm excited about that. Um, but, yeah, this record is a really big deal to me. I'm really proud of it. And besides all the amazing guest artists that are on it, it's really just an introduction. Even though I've been in this industry for a while, it's an introduction of you know, how I've developed as an artist and who I am as a person and an artist. And and I feel as if each song on here is just telling a true story, a little bit different each time. Uh, nothing, no two songs sound exactly the same, which, I, which I'm really proud of, too. We tried hard about that. And, you know, it's just an introduction. I'm here, and I'm here to stay. <laughs> awesome. We're talking to Madam Mayhem, and obviously your latest song is Monster. The new album comes out, Now You Know. And now you can get it already on iTunes, right? Yes, there's going to be pre-order on iTunes coming up and on Amazon.com, a pre-order as well. That's cool. That is very cool. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of female-fronted lead artists, and uh, a lot of things that I've noticed when I've talked to these is their background of music. A lot of them have been in the classical, and I think I read something about you had some classical music background. Yes, I am classically trained. Um opera, all that fun stuff, and I started off in musical theater, so uh, I made sure that I could actually sing before I tried starting to sing, you know, so I take my voice and my music very, very seriously, I went to school for music, so so music is my life, there is no fallback. <laughs> so talk about the transition going from singing opera to classical to singing uh, hard rock slash metal. Well, I think once you learn classically, uh, you can sing anything. It's all just about the attitude. And, I, and I've always been a hard rock and heavy metal fan, and that was always the, the music I was into. So it was very easy for me to transition uh, because that's just what I was singing at home and writing, and, and that's what I was doing. So it wasn't, you know, it was a little off awkward for me when I was studying, and I was like, this is not really me so much. But... You know, whenever I got to go home and write my own music, then that was me. And I can just hit higher ranges now. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Let's pick your brain a little bit on what you grew up as as a kid and when it came to music. What did you listen to? Well, my baby music was actually grunge because my mom was so sick of all those Sesame Street tapes and all of that <laughs> in the car. So she just turned on the radio. So, you know, Nirvana and... And all, and you know, off in chains, and that that was that was the music I first heard, really. And um, as I got older, my taste just got heavier and heavier and heavier. And now here I am. Here you are. How about some current active rock bands and uh, metal bands? What are you? Is there some bands you're really digging right now? Oh, there are so many. I mean, I'm so happy that that this genre is just getting so so many great musicians that have been in it for a while, but are now being considered, you know, new up and coming acts. It's it's incredible. I mean, if you just listen to the radio, check out the blogs online, like there are bands that are just killing it now and, and it's great. And it's also cool that there are bands that have been in it for a while that are coming back, you know, like you have Disturbed that's going out on the road again soon. And then you have all these new bands that are coming up. And I think uh, rock is, is back and better than ever. Is there a band that you know of and that maybe I haven't heard of yet that you think, hey, these guys really need a shot? Oh, they're they're a bunch. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head right now. Um, I've just been hearing recently a bunch of guys, whether it was the radio or online, um, blanking on the name. But there there are a few bands right now that are up and coming, okay. that are that are really killing it. Um, I would say maybe Bring Me the Horizon. They're they're pretty they're pretty sick. Yep. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, if you can remember in the future some bands, let me know because we love to play new bands. That's why we got you on. That's why we're discovering new artists. That's what we kind of do here on the dark. And uh, obviously, this is kind of the uh, platform nowadays. It seems like for a lot of these bands because. The record deals are not so much there. The labels aren't necessarily helping all the time. You kind of have to go out and do your own thing, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's really important. Um, even when you do get, you know, the record labels behind you, you're still you're still your own advocate. And I think it's great, too, because then you're kind of in more control. But at the same time, it's great to have outlets like yourself. So thank you for that, to, to introduce the world to new music, because... Um, instead of being spoon-fed whatever, you know, 
the mainstream wants you to hear. Like, there's all this great music happening that, you know, people are just trying to break through that wall and just reach people that, you know, might be really perfect fit for this music. So, you know, you're, you're helping people discover things and, and finding their new favorite songs, favorite bands, helping them relate. So thank you for that. We're talking with Madam Mayhem. Hey, let's ask you this question. In your music collection, all right, uh, maybe in your iPad, iPod there, uh, what might shock me that you have in there right now? Shock you. Okay. So the heavy stuff not going to. <laughs> I would say there's a bunch of musical theater stuff still on my on my iPad from when I was back at school and and I had to do projects, okay. uh, you know, performances, and so there is a little bit of musical theater on there that you might not think of initially when you think of Madame Mayhem, seeing as my gym music is Drowning Pool and all that fun stuff. <laughs> How about for you when you're out on stage and that uh, kind of, what's your, uh, I guess maybe, uh, what's your stage presence out there? If I'd come to a Madame Mayhem show, what, what am I going to expect and what am I going to see? You're going to expect an amazing show, which is what you'll get. I take live performance so seriously, but it's fun when it's out there. I mean, when I'm on stage, that's where I'm the most comfortable. So you're going to see a show. Uh, I go nuts. Uh, the music sounds killer, and uh, it's definitely entertaining. Very cool. Uh, how about, uh, and we were just talking before here, we started this interview about touring, and uh, you haven't got a lot of things going on yet, but uh, that'll happen soon. But if you had to put together your ultimate three-band bill to play with, Madam Mayhem's going to play with what other bands? Oh, uh, Metallica. Okay. Um, absolutely. Uh, I love so many bands. I'm, I'm such a music freak, so... Uh, so Metallica definitely. Um, Nine Inch Nails would be cool. Yeah. I'd say. Um, and screw it, Alice Cooper. Why not? You know what? Actually, last week I just talked to uh, who was it? I think it was uh, somebody from First Decree, and they had mentioned the same thing. Alice Cooper. The thing about Alice, and I saw him about a month ago in concert here when they're on the Motley Crue show, mm -hmm. and uh, he is an unbelievable showman, isn't he? Uh, yes. He's incredible. I mean, just a phenomenal. And he's six, what is he? Sixty-eight years old now, too. I mean, my my dream is to be performing live on stage until the day I die. So I hope that's really late in life. So, <laughs> um, I'm yeah. I mean, it's it's awesome that that people are able to still you know to do that. It's uh, he's amazing. I know your uh, library of music hasn't been that big yet for people out there, but this is a question I ask every artist when I do an interview. What artist would you like to cover one of your songs? Ooh, that's a good one. I would want uh, David Dreamin. Ah. Disturbed. I would want them to cover it. Very cool. Now, how about somebody outside the genre of hard rock and, and metal? Is there somebody else maybe you'd like to see dabble, like a, a, a country, a pop artist, somebody like that maybe? Or? Ooh, yeah, that would, that would be great. Let's see. Who is so against type? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let Taylor Swift do it. Taylor? Why not? There you that go. Would be so bizarre that it might actually end up being cool. Very cool. Well, maybe you just never know. Maybe down the road we can make that happen someday. <laughs> hey, have you heard your songs on the radio at all? I, I have. Uh, it's it's really cool. Um, I love it. And uh, the best times will be when I don't get the heads up. Once I'm just listening and I'm like, oh, crap, that's me right there. Like that, that I can't wait for. Yeah, it leads into my next question. What does it mean to hear your music on the radio? Uh, it means the world to me. I mean, uh, my whole point in doing this is is because it's my passion and my dream, and I'm, I I just think music is so important. And uh, you know, you have those songs that that really reach you, and and I want fans and or people you know who are just either having a bad day or or whatever the song is about to hear one of my songs and you know really change their mood and really have them relate to it so hearing it on the radio you know means that there's other people listening to it and maybe it's reaching them and and meaning something to them so so it really means that i'm doing my job 
Well, in fact, in just a matter of moments here, we're going to play your latest song, Monster, which we've played for the past couple weeks, so we're going to get a chance to hear that and maybe make some new fans out there. And I guess when you and I were talking here before we did this interview, you said you have a lot of uh, friends that moved from New York to Minnesota, so we might see you sometime in the near future here in Minnesota. Yes, yes i got to get my butt over there and uh, hang out with you guys over there. Have you ever been to Minnesota before? I haven't. I really need to. So I want to ask the question then, what is people, what, what's the stereotype that people are saying in New York of Minnesotans? I don't know. I don't, like, I... Everyone I know who who's out there, they're pretty cool, so it could only be positive. I haven't heard anything negative. Okay. I, didn't... I, I know there's a lot of snow, but there's a lot of snow here, too. So, <laughs> Have you ever done any ice fishing before? No, I have not. That was something you'd be interested in doing. Ah, uh, yes. Why not? Well, maybe we'll have to make that happen. How many, how many times can you say you can walk on water, right? Oh, I have not done that yet. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's uh, find out more once again about uh, Madam Mayhem. If somebody wants to find out more information about you, they want to find out more information about the new album coming out, Now You Know, how can they do that? Well, you could check out my website, which is madammayhem.com, and that's Madam with an E at the end. Um, reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Uh, Facebook, Madam Mayhem. Uh, Twitter, Mayhem Official. Instagram, Madam Mayhem. Uh, check out the YouTube video of the, of the single monster that you guys are playing. It's it's pretty fun. And uh, if you guys reach out to me on social media, it is me. So I would love to hear from everyone. Wow. And don't forget, check out the album. All the pre-order links are coming up on Amazon.com. So check it out. You must uh, be basically all day long on your computer then with everybody checking in on you, huh? Well, I try, I try as best I can, you know, uh, in between rehearsals and and all that fun stuff. I, I always like to be in contact with my fans because I feel like they're going to give me the best feedback I could ever ask for. And you mentioned the video. I've seen the video, you being in the straight jacket and that, so if nobody's seen that yet, they can check that out. I, in fact, I'll actually post that on our Facebook page here, here the video, but uh, what was it like being in a straight jacket? Not, I, I probably should be in one, but I'm not. Uh, wh no. What was it like? Definitely. Well, that's why we did it. You know, I'm sure there's so many people that have wanted to see me in one for so long. So <laughs> I, I kind of thought it would be a cool idea, and uh, it was uh, interesting. You know, uh, you don't realize how much you use your hands until you can't use them. Uh, that's for sure. So it was interesting. I was in that for a couple hours, and uh, I definitely needed assistance. <laughs> 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 How about, uh, obviously, this is your first song, your first single coming out. Do you have a, a second single lined up maybe to go after this one, or we can't we say that yet? Uh, yes, there's something in the works, and uh, you will know as soon as we announce it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much, Madam, for joining me, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. And I tell you what, when you make it up to Minnesota here, make sure you check in with us, okay? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Once again, that is Madam Mayhem. The new album is coming out on the October 16th called Now You Know. Their latest song is Monster. You're hearing it right now. It's on the dark. It's on FM 94.